Well, welcome to BAME Farm. Uh, today we are laying plastic. It's sort of been May 28th, last few days of May. As you can see behind us, we already have some plastic laid. Uh, right now we are behind the greenhouse, uh, laying plastic back there. That's one of the better drained areas we have for vegetables at the moment. Um, I should be, in the next couple of days, borrowing a raised bed layer uh, for the vegetables going out in front of the house. Now, well, ours is what they call, I, I guess, a level bed layer. It doesn't really shape it. Uh, there's nothing to make it raised against the rest of the dirt. It may look raised because, as you see in a second, there's a couple disc blades that push some dirt out. And then on the back of the layer, there's blades that cover over the edge of the plastic. And now there might be a little bit of a trough for those blades on the back have pushed the dirt over the strip we're laying. Now I'm creeping along in second gear. Uh, it's best to go slow. I'd like to go fast, but sometimes it'll throw too much dirt. And I gotta keep adjusting. Oh, in one of the views, we will see how it kind of pushes the dirt. It's a little tight working back here. This was a yard up until a couple years ago. And I let the chickens destroy it for a little too long. So we decided, ah, we got lots of chicken poop with plant vegetables back there. Now these two wheels are at a slight angle. They help stretch the plastic. Uh, up on the upper left there, you see that blade pushing the dirt on. Uh, this plastic is four foot wide. It's biodegradable, uh, and it's eight mils thick. We had tried the six, and being biodegradable, um, after a month it was not holding up so well. So I went for the little thicker plastic this year, seeing if it won't last longer. At one point we were using photodegradable, um, and that would usually lasted most of the season. You know, come August it was in decent shape, but after the winter, by next spring, everything exposed above ground um, had pretty well broken down. You didn't see it, except for the two, three inches at the very edge that were covered. Those wouldn't break down very well. So I don't know if why we went away from the photodegradable, unless the biodegradable was something new we wanted to try, just because we'd always get the rototiller wrapped up with plastic. Now I'm driving, I know, someone's going to ask why wasn't I letting Dad drive. Um, I'm a little picky, and I think I can maybe make the plastics a little straighter and or closer together. The biggest thing is keeping them close. And you can see down there at the bottom we're pushing a little bit of dirt. I kind of got to work it. There was a slight ridge in the soil underneath the layer. Um, but most of the weight of the layer is on the tractor. It's not supporting itself. Supposedly, you can drop it down all the way and let it you know, not have weight on the tractor, but that's never worked out. So, well, we're about to wrap this up. Just throw a few more scoops of dirt on. Nah, that's a quick bit of laying plastic. Uh, we might have more. I'd like to show off and see how this raised bed, raised bed layer performs.